And we're back with Greedfall, everybody. Let's go in this cave and... Ooh, new place. Get out of my way. Wait. Ah, oh, see, he's still got a sharp claymore. That's it. Ah. Yay. Mini Fala, the Rocky Mounts. Last area of the game. Finally, we've made it to high ground. Now, let's find this trail to the sanctuary. It can't be far from here. A deer. Bloodied feathers. They are extremely long. I know of no species of bird that sports such plumage. It's Vinbar. Looks like Vinbar must have begun his transformation. He will soon become a guardian of the mountains. If we want to have any chance of saving Constantine, we must hurry. Find Vinbar's trail. Follow Vinbar's trail. More of these giant feathers. We're on the right trail. Well, I really don't think there's anywhere that you can, like, go. I'm pretty sure this one's pretty linear. Oh, uh oh. You should not have come all this way, Renaixe. I will not let you near Vimbar. Sarah, we must see him. We don't have a choice. We saved you. Why have you locked us in the cavern? And why do you now stop us from passing? In spite of your friendship with these monsters, you helped me. I thought that I had to help you in return, but I learned looking at the paintings that this was madness. Vinbar has heard the calling and answered. Even if it breaks my heart, he has done what is right. He maintains the balance. No one must stop him. I am his Minundanem. It is now my duty to defend the path he treads. His path led him to kill Katasach. And now he holds my cousin captive. I'm sorry, Sarah, but no one will keep us from passing. Eight more! No way to even reason at all? That's kind of odd. Have a big hammer to the face. It's hammer time! It didn't even give me the option to like. It was just, oh, that's it. I'm gonna fight. Like, unicorn metal. Normally, it it doesn't do that. Normally, you get the option to choose whether you want to fight, talk it out, blah blah blah. Not this time. It was just like, uh uh, you're going down. Found a unicorn metal power one. Can't use any of this crap. None of it's any good. Kind of cool looking. A bunch of junk. Obsidian saber, storm warrior's tunic, Terra's seed, gold coins. I feel like that was a glitch. Like, like I should have been able to talk her out of it. What am I doing? Saber. Is it better? Naval officer saber. Um, yeah, I mean, it basically is. All 
Alright, I guess we'll go. I don't feel good about that, but over there. More feathers. I don't feel good about that at all. Message to the attention of Professor Seraphidin. Professor, you will find the ammunition you ordered in these crates. There should be enough to fight the creature you were told us about. Fighting a flying creature is certainly much easier with good rifles. Wishing you a good hunt. So he must have came here from long time ago, the professor. You must have been one of the first people to get here. We found the entrance to the sanctuary. Vinbar must be here. With Constantine. If he's still alive. We need to find a way to get inside quickly. It's the altar, duh. This must be the entrance to Vinbar's sanctuary. But it's obstruct he knows how to protect his home. Oh man, which one? A stone altar. It resembles the one that protects the passage to Mev's sanctuary. This must be where I need to place the seed. And here is another altar. Are two seeds necessary to open the passage? The seed that Sarah was carrying should work. To think that she gave her life to protect the one she loved. Now that we have both seeds, the ritual should work. Oh, okay. I hate how you get stuck on stuff like that sometimes. Here we go. King Vinba, why? Constantine didn't do anything. He has never sought to wrong your people in any way. Like a worm, he burrows. You are so naive. You cannot see with my eyes. Then all Milfrichtimen saw the wound. From atop the volcano, he warned me of the danger. Fed by Bitterness, driven by desire, taking without giving, he will be the end of us all. You have gone completely mad. Take it. You are too blind, too renaixed to understand. Leave him. Um, yeah, fight time. Oh, he's gonna die super fast. Until he transforms, anyway. I cannot. All source of life. Free him! Damn it! He didn't even reload his gun. <laughs> I 
That's a musket. You don't get two shots like that, man. You get one, then you gotta fucking spend ten minutes reloading it. <laughs> Oh yeah! Popper fight, baby! Oh, bam, baby! Break his armor. Hey, no more armor, buddy. What's what's her name doing? She's just standing there like a lump. No, she's not even shooting. Like shoot him. There she shot him finally. Is probably free from his stone. You're right. Let's go see him quick. Uh, we got Vinbar's sword, so just chill for a second. That is awesome. But I like it. It looks freaking sweet. And I'm extremely happy about. Oh, why did I get that? Oh. Where did I get all this crap? I don't remember this stuff. Did I get it? I got something else from him, didn't I? Um. It says I have a necklace. But I don't see a necklace. Storm Warrior tunic. Oh. It's actually really cool looking on him. It's kind of cool to go all like old school. Not old school, uh, like, yeah, see, it says there's, oh, old, old Marquis Rapier. Let's see, it says there's a, I wonder if someone else got it. Alright, oh, whatever, I guess it don't matter. Three skill points? Slacking. Um... Divine Magic Green Stasis. Mm, oh, wait, I never even got this. Group healing. Oh, dude! Come on. I picked that up too, just because. I got any. Oh, I got one attribute point. Um, mental power, willpower, accuracy. Mm. Oh, the accuracy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Endurance? I didn't find any armor that was ever in this. Let's go accuracy. Game's over, I think, anyway. He is like super sick and dying. Wake up, please! I beg you! Hang on. We're bringing you home to get you healed. Outside the stone prison. But we didn't figure out how to get the cure. This is dumb. Maybe the game's not over. I don't know. Three days have passed since we returned. I need to go to the palace to see if Constantine has finally awoken. Three days? Holy crap. You should get some rest. You're not being reasonable. To hell with reason. I've rested long, and I'm well enough. You've just barely woken from a stupor that had you on death's doorstep. The affairs of state can certainly wait another day. Let <sighs> Thank you, my lady, but I am 
amazingly well. You can take leave of me with no fear, I assure you. He just escaped a deathly sleep, and here he is ready to conquer the world. Your cousin is exasperating. <sighs> what now? Are you going to scold me as well? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just relieved to see you're still alive. <sighs> I'm quite relieved myself, actually. Thank you're you, one ugly cousin. mother, dude. Without you, I would be dead thrice, wouldn't I? Or is it the fourth time? If we start counting the time you stop me from climbing the ramparts of Serene, we'd be up to five times now. It's unbelievable. You feel no pain whatsoever. And your complexion. <sighs> I haven't even taken a look at myself. Is the improvement visible? I wouldn't go that far. How is it that... What happened? Don't make that face. It's merely a major miracle. Come on now. I'm going to tell you everything. Oh. We have been waiting for your return. I knew you would do everything in your power. I have always trusted you. But Katasak feared that I would not hold on long enough. He spoke to me about a ritual that would help me. I was excited about it. And in spite of all that has happened, I don't regret following him. We went to the ancient site. A place full of magic. I followed his instructions. And all of a sudden... What... An incredible sensation. I felt better than I have ever felt, cousin. Alas, we had very little time to celebrate. Cries came to our ears, and beasts jumped all over us. We fled for a while, as other soldiers fought through, creating a path to join us. But I can see from your face that you know this already. Indeed. Once on the ritual site, I followed your tracks and deduced what had happened. Ask about the hiking's motivation. It seems that Binbar was targeting you specifically. Did he say anything to you? I was still very weak, and most of the time he whispered in his own language. It seemed that he was speaking to someone and following his orders. But there was no one other than us, cousin. The crazy madman must have been hearing voices. Ask him why he wasn't killed. Do you have any idea why he didn't kill you like the others? No. No, not really. It seemed like he was trying to tell me something, though. He spoke about isolating me from the world, that I couldn't return to the Earth. It made absolutely no sense. But aren't you happy that he let me live? Don't speak foolishly, of course. I just want to understand. Ask him for more details about the ritual. Tell me more about this ritual. What did it consist of? It is, I think, a ritual that the Doné Garda practice to bind themselves to the island. Doné Garda? Katasak taught you their language? Just a few words. He wanted me to learn, to understand, but we had so little time. So he visited this infamous site, where he prepared for me a sort of potion. What ceremony? I had to cut my hand in front of an enormous stone. And there, a gigantic beast came and started circling around me. It was incredible. I truly felt a bond with that place. Like a wave came through me, as if the power of the island was running through my veins. It was marvelous. And now I am on all Manawi, like you. Even if the Malachor left me a few of its marks. But you had to encounter the god of the island, didn't you? How was Enon Mil Frichtemann? Yes, I passed a trial for that. But the only one who could guide me to the sanctuary is dead. Oh, no. Do not tell me. And yes, only the High King can open the sanctuary, according to Glendan. I have no choice but to return to see him. I'm certain they are going to name a successor. Uh, a new High King. Oh my gosh, I thought I was done with this game. Ask Glendan for his... Okay, well maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I don't know anymore. What is this? Oh. Alright, so let's travel back over to here. I'm gonna speak with Glendon. 
No, go away. Good day, Glendan. Beort Tirtomat, Karans of Katasag. We learned of his death. And they washed Tiri. Alas, his was not the only tragic loss. Your high king, Vinbar, is also dead. He was taken by folly. He went away into his mountains after killing Katasag and capturing my cousin. Nothing I could say would allow him to see reason. Are you telling me that you were the one who killed him? Kertonsidag. What happened? How could a friend of Katasak do such a horrible thing? I'm sorry, but your High King did not leave me any choice. He was at the point of killing my cousin and then he attacked me. He was becoming a guardian, a Nardaig. Perhaps it was for that reason that he lost possession of his wits. I believe you. You have sufficiently proven your friendship. But something escapes me. Why? Why would Vinbar have done such a thing? His offering to Tiafradi does not justify what he did. You know that I wish to see Enonmil Frichterman, and he was the only one with the power to allow me to do so. I would not have caused his death voluntarily. Believe me, I'm just as sorry as you. Undivorced, Tire. We will celebrate his memory as well as those of all the members of our council that have fallen. Vladnit, Katasak, and now our High King. These are dark times, but in spite of our mourning, we must elect a new High King. The children of Tiafradi cannot remain without a guide. All the more so in these troubled times. I will notify the Mal of all the clans so that they may know to travel here. Who has a chance of being elected, in your opinion? Deirdre is powerful, and many clans would follow her. The wisdom of Dunkas will also attract support from many. And there is also Ulan, a clever fox who is very capable of convincing the entire world with his honey dripping words. Deirdre, Dunkas, and Ulan. I must convince them to help me if they are elected. I suppose. I must begin the preparations. You must leave now. All right. I must leave. Goodbye. Qua Awelem said. Dunkas, help me, Dunkas. What brings you here on Omanawi? I'm the bearer of bad news. Vinbar, your high king, is dead. Ande Voshtire. He was a great king and a very wise Donegad. We haven't seen him in a long time, but his memory shall be honored. Glendan told me that you would probably be among those who would want to take his place. I am not looking for power, but Tiafradi needs peace and balance. And I fear the other kings may want war, or be motivated by ambition. The Renaise brought chaos with them, and our island has suffered. We cannot change the past, and chasing away those who came does not make sense. The wound is there. Refusing to acknowledge it is pointless. But wounds can be healed. And my clan knows how to do this. So if you're worried about my intentions, if I were to become Hoi King, I'll lay them out for you. We must find balance with those from the remote island and live together in harmony. 
But for this, we must teach the Renaixe humility and to respect the Earth. I would like to meet Enon Miel Frichtemann in order to find an antidote for the disease that is destroying my people. If you were elected, would you help me in this endeavor? You are a Karantz of our clan, and I have witnessed your wisdom and benevolence. I would be glad to help you meet Enon Miel Frichtemann, and I pray that he will help your people. But you should know that my election is far from certain. The spirits are divided, and some are thirsty for revenge. Would there be a way to make sure that you get picked? I do not like the idea of using such a method. But yes, there is a way. The High Kings of old wore a legendary crown, said to be a gift from Enon Mil Frichtemann. The one who became the first guardian is believed to have taken it with him in death. If someone were to wear it in these troubled times, they would definitely be chosen by the others. And where can I hope to find it? In the burial mound of the Hoi Kings near the village of Vignamri. But it is said that the path towards it is strewn with spears, and that its entrance, situated near a large dead tree, is guarded by a Nadaig Magamen. It is a deeply holy place, and the Guardian will not let anyone enter without a fight. If you do decide to go there, fill your heart with humility and respect, for those who rest there were great men. Now we have earned the trust of one of the Pretenders. We just need to find that crown. Are you certain you are willing to influence the fate of all my people to meet an unmuted I understand that you might find this idea unpleasant, but the survival of the whole continent relies on this encounter, Siora. It is my feeling that you do not understand the consequences of such a decision. Everyone on the island will listen to the words of a High King. Have you thought carefully about what your allies' intentions are? If you approve of them, fine. But if you don't, it would be better to pick someone else. You're right. It's a decision that's more important than our quest for an antidote. I must dwell on it. Karens, I am glad you came to talk to me. I have something to ask you. I'm listening. What do the women on your island do when they really like someone? Everything is so complicated where you come from. In my culture, we do not talk about our feelings, especially not amongst nobles. Marriages are arranged more often than not. <laughs> I knew it. Never mind. I'll do it my way. Your body and your soul are speaking with mine on Almanawi. And if you feel the same way, I would love to spend some time alone with you. Accept the rendezvous. Ooh. I would love that too. Meet me outside my room the next time we're at the house. I will be there. Anything else? I must leave you. See you later. Um. Romance? Now we just have to go see the pretenders, and hope that they will accept us. You are a metamorph. The natives will listen to you more carefully than they will listen to any other settler. But you will still need to convince them that you are acting in good faith. If only there was a way to be certain of the results of this vote. We would only need to convince one. There is way more at stake in this election than your encounter with Enolmil Frichtemann. It will decide the fate of my people. And it may even decide the fate of yours, because every king and every queen has their own opinion when it comes to deal in Agze and what should be done. Once elected, they will decide and we will follow. If there is a way to influence this vote, take your time to think about the consequences. Karantz, do you need something? I must leave you. 
See you later. Huh. Said she wanted to spend time with me, but then, like... Karams, do you need something? I've never heard what happened. My anything? I'm Weird. Asleep. I don't know. I don't get it. Honor oh. Manawi. Do you still agree to spend some time with me? Uh, yeah. Of course. I was waiting for this moment. Come. Oh, chicka wow 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 wow. Ooh, baby. <laughs> Getting hot in here. <laughs> uh, romance scenes in video games are always so weird and awkward. <laughs> I have never met someone like you. <laughs> oh no, Manawi. My heart has never beaten so fast for anyone. What about you? Do you think you are my Munundunen? Tell her you love her too. Tell her it was nothing more than a pleasant moment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. Because I love you too, Siwa. Kairto, this is how we say I love you in our language. Koden nes greda komolai. Our two hearts beat together. Uh, Mendunaman. Yeah, that's right. You didn't get to come up here, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, now we get to go travel. Um, I want to go hear from the other people before I make a decision. Man, village of Badula. Oh, we're at 32 minutes. Okay. So let me load this and then we'll continue in the next one. Alright, so here we are. We're going to talk to her. We'll talk to all of them and see what they're offering and make our decision from there. Um, but anyway guys, if you like this video, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.